So we took a trip. We took a trip from Arizona to Las Vegas. We took a road trip. Yeah. And it was quite interesting. Whether you live in Arizona or you want to move to Arizona, have you ever thought about how close it is to Sin City, to Las Vegas? So we took a trip out to Las Vegas. We had a photo shoot to take care of out there. So me, my husband, and the kids took a road trip. We left at what, like six o'clock? Yeah, about six o'clock at night, yeah. We left six o'clock on a Tuesday and it took us about five hours. Yeah, about four, 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 five, four hours, four and a half hours. Yeah. Yeah, we stopped, so we had about five hours. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We stopped in Kings, was it Kingsman? Yeah, we King, stopped in Kingsman. Yeah, Kingman City. To go to In N Out and to fill up on gas. Would did you say that the trip to California, which trip is shorter? Here well, to California or here to Las Vegas? From Phoenix to Las Vegas is shorter than from Phoenix to California, at least where we go in California. It was a very interesting trip, I think. Like, to me, it felt short. Yeah. You know, it felt kind of short to me. I would say the last leg of that trip, just because it went a little late, was, uh, yeah. it was rough. It was dark. It was a. I was tired. It was like a two lane highway for a lot of yeah, it, right? Yeah. So the, uh, I don't know if we'll get into it a little bit later, but we take two highways to get to Vegas, uh, from, from here, from Phoenix, we're at North Phoenix, or North Peoria, I should say. Um, we hop on the US 60 highway, and then we kind of branch onto the US 90, 93 highway. Things about the highway versus a freeway, a lot of highways are two lanes. So there's a two lane highway of the 93 is a little bit scary at times. <laughs> and it's actually, we looked it up that the drive from Arizona to Las Vegas is actually one of the most dangerous Drives. Yeah, they drives. Yeah. It may not, yeah. yeah, it may not have been the best time to go at night. I mean, and this is just us. We've never done it, so, so like we tried it. Make sure you're good visibility. Make sure you you know you're you're awake, you're alert. Uh, being that it's a two two lane highway, you know, the, you know you're, you know, when a car's coming at you, are they tired? Are they sleeping? Are they are they awake? Are they you know? You got to just kind of be aware. So I think that you know having that in the back of your head is something that'll help you get you there for sure. But it's I mean it was a nice drive. It was nice once you break off to the 93 or break off to the highway or the freeway of that. It's actually a little bit better um, going into Vegas. Kingman City or King Kingman is interesting. I've heard a lot about Kingman. A lot of people are actually buying land out there. Um, yeah, it's buying, been a yeah. popular place. Yeah, they're buying land out there because they can see the industry coming. Um, and whether that was been there or it's coming, it's people are starting to buy more land out there. It's, it's right in, you know, it's right in the middle. It's that middle point before you get to Vegas. So yeah. interestingly, it's right next to Lake Havasu as well. <laughs> yes, yes. Hey friends, welcome to Living Life in Phoenix, Arizona. If this is your first time with us, make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and the notification bell so that every time a new video comes out, you will be notified. If you are interested in moving to the Phoenix area, make sure you give us a call, shoot us a text, shoot us an email, however you wanna get a hold of us. We got your back when moving to Phoenix, Arizona. So some of the cities that are near Las Vegas are Lake Havasu, Kingman, Kingman, and there was another one. Bullhead City. Bullhead City. Those are the three cities. And there's also other cities that are near Las Vegas, but yeah. those are just the most popular yeah. cities. Yeah. Also Laughlin. Like, so also around there, I guess you could branch off and go to Laughlin or Needles. But is Laughlin towards the California side or towards the Arizona? Nevada. It's going to be Nevada side. Oh, Nevada. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's, I mean, they're, they, these are just some of the cities that are on the way and you, and yeah. you can uh, you can visit or a lot of people, you know, a lot of people come to Arizona and they're like, oh, well, what can we do? There's so many cities you can go to. I mean, north, south, east or west. I mean, there's so much to, to, to do and to see yeah. and going towards the Vegas. And those are some of the sites and cities you can see that way. Yeah. Yeah. Here's a great question. Is Phoenix hotter than Las Vegas? What do you think? We've 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 vacationed in Las Vegas several times. Even when we lived in California, um, we drove from California to Vegas a lot. So we have experienced Vegas. I know that I've been out there a lot for work. 
and he's been out there a lot also, maybe not for work, but for fun. And yeah, is Phoenix hotter or is Vegas hotter? On a personal feeling, I, you know, I, actually it's a good question to actually to probably look up, um, but I'm going to put all my eggs in the basket of Phoenix is hotter than Vegas. I definitely think so too. Yeah. I actually pulled up some statistics oh, or some did. averages and in the middle of the summer in Las Vegas, it's between 101 to 105 degrees. Yeah. In Phoenix, in the middle of the summer, it's between 104 to 106 degrees. So it is a little bit different, a little bit higher. Here's the thing that I, it's really, it's interesting. Um, and when you're working with temperatures that high, and as they get higher, <laughs> Right, Phoenix, I think we saw 121 last summer or 120 something. You can cook a steak in the street. That's how hot, I mean, it's just hot. But it's, you know, we, we made it through. Everyone says, oh, this is a dry heat, but it's a dry heat. I guess living in the Midwest or the South, having a humid heat is just much different. You know, you got the humidity, you know, you're sweating, you're just, it's different. I'm sure it's different, but hot is hot. And Phoenix can get really hot, but it's, I. I didn't know those, those statistics. I did feel that that was right. There yeah. were times I stepped out and it's just like, slap your mama hot. It's so hot. Like, I never slap my mama, but it's it's hot. <laughs> it's real hot. Yes, it was definitely. Well, this, this time of year, we went in, um, let's see, we went in March. It wasn't extremely hot. It was kind of cool. I don't know if it's because we did the shoot um, yeah. up in <clears throat> the mountains to where it's kind of cooler, but it wasn't extraordinarily hot, but it's also not extraordinarily yeah, hot out spring. here in Arizona. So. Yeah, we are, we're still in spring and the temperatures are beautiful out here. Yeah. 80 degree weather. I mean, it's, I feel like kind of around the country, you know, the weather doesn't know what it wants to do, but it's out here, it's, it's beautiful. Um, you still got your crisp mornings, a little bit chilly mornings, but it's been really beautiful days. And just, I mean, you can't beat the sunsets, you can't beat the weather right now. And I think, you know, the heat will come around, you know, June time frame. So if we decided to fly to Arizona versus drive. Phoenix, or I'm sorry, to Vegas. Yes, if we decided to Fly to Las Vegas versus <clears throat> drive. How do you think it would be? I, I looked at the time and it would be an hour and nine minute flight. Just if a, it was just you and I, I would be comfortable with just flying to Vegas because yeah. once we get to the Vegas airport, we can catch an Uber from the Vegas airport to the strip or wherever we're gonna go and yeah. then just kind of walk and cab it. Yeah. But with the kids, it's just easier to drive. I mean, it's yeah. easier to drive. It's probably just easier to drive, I mean, dog, especially too. at this age. Yeah, yeah. If they were older and a lot easier to lug on and off in the plane with luggage. Yeah, then... yeah. I didn't think the drive was that bad. I really didn't. I, I actually I actually enjoyed it, maybe because I've never done it, so I like new things. Yeah. Um, one thing that we did drive through, what I really enjoyed was just past Kingman on the way into Vegas. I wish I, wish I took a video of it, but um, we went through Hoover Dam. We passed by Hoover Dam. i have been there maybe, I've been there a couple times, but not in my older years. And I do want to take a trip there and see the dam during the day. We passed through there at night, but it's really beautiful. Hoover Dam's a man-made dam, I believe. It's just enormous. And if you haven't seen it, it's something to, to go see. But once you turn into the, once you go through Hoover Dam and you're coming into Vegas, you're coming kind of the back end through Vegas, not through where we usually come through from California, which is on the fifth. I believe you see the skyline of Vegas and my son was like <laughs> my son woke up and he was like he's like wow daddy that's beautiful <laughs> and I was like you know it actually was a sight to see so yeah if you if you do drive there you're coming up the, up the 93 check out the uh, the skyline it's it is it is beautiful it's really nice it's something to see yes so if you're wondering if you're living in Arizona, how far away is Vegas from Arizona? It's about five hours. You can do it in a day. You can do it in a night. You can even do a day trip. There's some people that just do turnarounds. We're not about that turnaround no. life. <laughs> we rather stay the night at least one night. <clears throat> yeah. But there are some people that are about that turnaround life and that will go and just take a turnaround trip to Vegas, take a turnaround trip to California. Yeah. Living in Phoenix, there's so many different options. Yeah, yeah. And living, I mean, specifically from where we're at, because like I said, we're west, but northwest Phoenix. 
or Peoria, I should say. It was a lot easier. If you live further inland, Scottsdale, Chandler, Tempe, it's a longer drive. It is about, a, you're gonna add about an hour because you gotta get to, you know, but it's not that bad. Well, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please place them down below if you are interested in moving to the city of Phoenix, Arizona. Make sure you drop a message below, give me a call, give me a text, however you wanna get a hold of us. We got your back when moving to Phoenix, Arizona.